Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Thermalrite ALX 800 heatsink. What is included in this package are two 80mm fan clips, four adhesive pads, thermal compounds, and the heatsink. This heatsink is very similar to the SLK800A. However, this one is machined from a solid aluminum block with a copper insert here at the bottom. Now it weighs in at around 430 grams and that is 100 grams lighter than the SLK800A. As I just mentioned, the top is aluminum. Each side here has 32 fins and again that solid copper base which is going to allow great contact between it and the CPU because it is really smooth. Now this heatsink does have a three-point clip design but you will need a screwdriver to attach this to the socket 462. Also the dimensions on this heatsink the length is 96 millimeters, the width is 59 millimeters and the height is 44 millimeters. Installing this heatsink is extremely easy to do. First of all, take these four adhesive pads and stick them on the bottom of the heatsink. Once that's done, go ahead and install the CPU. Then apply a thin coat of thermal compound to the CPU and the copper part of the heatsink. Now once that's done, you can go ahead and carefully place the heat sink on top of the CPU and then go ahead and use a screwdriver to pop it down on this side and make sure that it's in all three points on each side of the socket. You will need to attach a fan on top of the heat sink and they have included these two fan clips. These fan clips go on either side of the heat sink like so. Just snap it into the holes and do that for the other side. And once you have those in place you can then slip the fan on top and just pull up each one of these fan clips on either side to secure the fan on top and then go ahead and connect the fan into a power source. This heatsink can't offer the same performance as a solid copper heatsink. However, it does offer great performance, a good design, and it's really light. One thing that I do not like about this heatsink, though, is the fact that you need to use a screwdriver to get it on and off. It's dangerous, and it's simply not easy to get on or get off off. Overall though, this product is great. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.